Schoolmates, packmates, and soulmates. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 styles and Lydia moments on Teen Wolf. For this list, we're looking at the moments that helped establish Style Stalinsky and Lydia Martin as one of Teen Wolf's most endearing ships. Number 10. Lydia is the only one to remember Styles. Try to find him. Okay, why is it starting to feel like you're Batman and I'm Robin? Try to find him in your memories. By the end of Teen Wolf's run, Styles and Lydia feel truly meant to be. However, for the best part of five seasons, the jury was still out on whether these two would get there. It's all about the connection. When I was remembering him, I was also remembering the two of you together. I don't think anyone had the connection like you guys. I saw it too. You have to try, Lydia. At the beginning of season six, Styles is taken by the Wild Hunt and erased from everyone's memories. Or at least that should have been the case. But against all odds, Lydia felt that somebody important, someone she loved, was missing. When I kissed him, that's when it all changed. This moment was huge because while Styles had a crush on Lydia for seemingly ever, the Banshee had yet to definitively reciprocate those feelings. I saw him. I was there. I was the last person to see him. Where? When did you see him? The Ghost Riders, they... Well, they took him. Number 9. Lydia and Styles' conversation at the school dance. You want to dance? Yes. You know what? Let me try that again. Lydia, get off your cute little ass and dance with me now. At the tender age of just about nine years old, Styles formed a crush on Lydia, and those emotions would slowly grow for the better part of a decade. Lydia, I've had a crush on you since the third grade, and I know that somewhere inside that cold, lifeless exterior, there's an actual human soul. Despite Lydia showing little to no interest in Styles, they end up going to the winter formal together where Teen Wolf delivers arguably the couple's first significant moment. The scene comes across as a personal win for Styles as he finally seems to be earning Lydia's acknowledgement. You'll eventually go off and write some insane mathematical theorem that wins you the Nobel Prize. At the time, Lydia was essentially masquerading as a cold and standoffish ditz, but this is just a facade that, despite fooling most people, Styles sees right through, and he tells her as much. Nobel is Nobel Prize for mathematics. The field's been the one I'll be winning. Number 8. Styles pleads with Lydia to wake up. It's too loud, I can't. If I try the mask now, it'll kill you. You have to calm your mind. You understand what they've created. Even though Styles and Lydia would grow progressively closer throughout Teen Wolf's early years, both characters were romantically involved with other people and seemed to accept just being friends. However, in Season 5, a near-fatal encounter for Lydia causes Styles' dormant emotions to come bursting forth in the form of a full-blown passionate breakdown after the Banshee seems to pass away. Lydia, Lydia, hey, 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 look, you're gonna get through this, okay? Lydia, look at me, you're gonna make it. This scene is driven solely by his unfiltered emotion. Styles' reaction to Lydia's apparent death is heartbreaking to watch, even if the moment ends up taking a turn for the positive. No, 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 no. Come on, Lydia, wake up. Come on. Wake up, can you hear me, Lydia? Lydia, open your eyes. Come on, come on. Number seven, red string and Styles believes in Lydia. What do the different colored strings mean? Uh, they're just different stages of the investigation. So like green is solved, yellow is to be determined, blue is just pretty. What does red mean? Uh, unsolved. You only have red on the board. Yes, I'm aware, thank you. Smack in the middle of an investigation is probably not the best time for a cute moment, but Styles and Lydia can find the precious in any situation. When Lydia's banshee sense can't pinpoint the location of a potential bomb left by an escaped convict, the teenager begins to doubt her own abilities. Styles, on the other hand, has full confidence in Lydia's danger detector. You've been right every time something like this has happened. Okay, so don't start doubting yourself now. No scent. No bomb. I got you in trouble. Why? Lydia hasn't been wrong yet, and Styles is willing to bet that that won't change. And look, if you wanted to, I'd go back to that school right now and I'd search all night just to prove it. 
This season 3 moment really shows how far the pair had come since Lydia gave Styles the cold shoulder in the pilot. I mean, this is seriously going to be the best thing that's happened to this town since, since the birth of Lydia Martin. Hey, Lydia. You look like you're going to ignore me. Number 6. Styles comforts Lydia after hallucinations. Hey, Lydia, what's wrong? <laughs> Lydia, come. Just go away. What's wrong? Look, I don't need anyone seeing me cry. Many of this couple's earliest interactions amount to Styles muttering something humorous but usually awkward, while the confused Lydia tries to decide whether to be charmed or annoyed. Look, you shouldn't care if people see you cry, all right? Especially you. <laughs> Why? Because I think you look really beautiful when you cry. After a string of supernatural-themed hallucinations cause Lydia to have an emotional breakdown, however, Styles is there to offer a shoulder to cry on, while throwing in an unintentionally inopportune compliment. You can trust me on this. There is nothing that you can say to me that'll make you sound crazy. Literally nothing. Sadly, the fact that a shapeshifter was on the loose meant Styles had no choice but to leave Lydia hanging. This season 2 scene nonetheless shows the future couple connecting on a then rare personal level, even if it was only for a brief second. But just stay here and I'll be right back, okay? And then we can talk about anything, yeah? Okay, just five minutes. <laughs> Number 5. Lydia calms Styles down with a kiss. Just trying to think about something else. Anything else. For better or worse, there's no forgetting a couple's first kiss. And this one is even less straightforward than most, with the two still a handful of seasons away from becoming an official couple, and the kiss being prompted by, of all things, a panic attack, the circumstance surrounding Styles and Lydia's smooch could not have been any less romantic. Styles, look at me. Look at me. There's a ghost upon the moor tonight. Even if Lydia's kiss was meant to primarily calm Styles down, this moment still marked the first proper hint that these two could eventually share a future. I should do that. I, uh, I read once that holding your breath could stop a panic attack. While far from a passive character, in the first couple of seasons, Lydia was always the one reacting to Styles' obvious romantic interest, and not the other way around. That is, until this scene happened. Thanks. He's really smart. Number 4. Lydia's Rescue Focus on this sound and my voice. Right, Lydia. Now, regardless of whether someone is a werewolf or a kitsune, storming the Iken house without much in the way of backup is a surefire way to wind up in the hospital. Yet Styles, a human with exactly no superpowers, did just that when Lydia was captured by Dr. Valak. Styles isn't particularly impulsive, but any sense of self-preservation flies out the window when Lydia's life is on the line, even if the Banshee herself poses a danger to the would-be rescuer. Okay, with that. We're getting you out of here, okay? Okay, it's too dangerous. Lydia? Please shut up and let me save your life. Lydia's not a character who generally needs saving, but when she does, Styles steps up in a major way. Number 3. And if you die, I will literally go out of my freaking mind. Hey, sorry, I didn't have any tissues, so, uh... It's fine. Putting aside what happens later down the line, in the first two seasons, Lydia and Styles have a strained friendship, mainly because an unreciprocated crush tends to breed frustration. Why do you have women's jewelry? Oh. Uh, th nothing. That's just some stuff I bought. For your birthday. In season 2's finale, when Lydia plans to risk everything to save her boyfriend Jackson, Styles' emotions get the better of him in a speech that is quite poignant. How much do you know about this stuff? Pieces. Half of it's like a dream. Yeah, well, guess what? The other half is like a freaking nightmare. I don't care. I can help him. You see, that's the problem. You you don't care about getting hurt. Styles actor Dylan O'Brien sells this moment like it's nobody's business, while Lydia's uncomfortable reaction perfectly highlights that this relationship has a long way to go before she and Styles wind up on the same page. But you know how I'll feel? I'll be devastated. And if you die, I will literally go out of my freaking mind. Number 2. Styles asks Lydia to remember him. Those who see the wild hunt beware, for you are already lost. 
Season 6 starts with a real kick to the heart for Styles, who stumbles upon supernatural cowboys capable of expunging someone from existence. The season's premiere sees Styles gradually forgotten by everyone, with Lydia resisting the Ghost Rider's influence the longest. He saw them. He saw the Wild Hunt. Where's Styles? Who's Styles? With the prospect of being erased seeming very real, Styles holds nothing back in what could be his last moment with Lydia. Styles, if you can see them, they're gonna. No, I know, I know. Okay, look, they're coming for me. So you have to get away from me right now, okay? I'm leaving you. While Teen Wolf throws Stydia shippers a few bones in the first five seasons, this scene is when Styles and Lydia truly become each other's endgame, even if the payoff would take a while to arrive. I feel like years were taken off my life waiting for these two to get together, but man was the show better for it. Here's some other great moments between Styles and Lydia before we get to number one. Ready? Okay, here we go. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Styles and Lydia's Reunion I can't believe I found you. I can hear Lydia. I think, I think I can get to her. I think you can get us out of here. It took six seasons and 90 episodes, but here it is. The moment Styles and Lydia stopped being a fantasy and became a reality. Styles, who had been gone for three agonizing in-universe months, finally manages to escape the Ghost Riders, leading to a long-awaited reunion with Lydia and everyone else. Where is he? It was working. You saw him, right? After saving each other's lives multiple times, and Teen Wolf dedicating the best part of Season 6's first half to establishing that Styles' crush on Lydia is no longer one-sided, this kiss was more than earned, and frankly, came as a relief. I didn't say it back. You don't have to. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.